Okay, so we are headed to Hollywood Studios this morning. There is a total of two rides that Poppy can actually go on. One is closed right now. So me, Jack, and my dad are going to head to Rock and Roller Coaster first, and then we'll go and see if we can get Poppy on the one other ride that she can go on. So it's gonna be a quick day here. I think we'll go back to an early nap and then we will. And then we head to the Grand Floridian for dinner and Magic Kingdom for fireworks. So see you later. We are Emma and Jack Lindsay. Together with our daughter, we love to travel and experience different places. How we get there and what we do is always different. Life is too short, so get out and live a little. So after taking the boat over from our hotel, we were at Hollywood Studios and ready to go explore. The first ride is Rock and Roller Coaster. This will be just for Jack, my dad, and myself. This is not appropriate for little ones. It is very, very fast and has crazy, crazy turns. So let's head there now. Hey, Emma. That was fun. It's really fast though. I feel like let me know in the comments below if you've ever done Tower of Terror and what you think of it. I personally love it, but we just didn't have enough time today to do it. <laughs> being silly. So this was the other ride that we could have taken Poppy on, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It was closed for repairs when we first got there and then it reopened and we could have gotten on the ride but we would have had to have waited several hours to get a pass and the line was long so we just called it a day but my parents actually did end up going back and trying it out and they said it was actually super super cute and a lot of fun. Next up was Toy Story Land. This was so cute. This was not here the last time I was in Disney, and they did a phenomenal job on this. You feel like you're one of the toys because all the toys are like life size, and just the down to the detail, they did a phenomenal job here. They've got humongous, like human footprints that are several, several feet long. It's just, they did a really, really great job. It definitely brings out the inner kid in anybody. So this was the ride that we could take Poppy on, Toy Story Mania. It was so much fun. The only thing with this one though is that it is 3D, so if your kids won't keep the 3D glasses on like ours, they just won't totally see it how it should be. Hey Poppy, are you ready? They did a fantastic job on this ride while you're waiting to get on it. Like you even look like you're in Andy's room and you're one of the toys. So fun. This ride's got a good amount of like whippy turns would be the best way to explain it. Like it turns really fast and kind of goes all over the place. And the point of it is that you shoot at different targets and try and get points. Coffee and Jack and Emma. And I didn't even play the first round.
Javi, was that so much fun? Did you like that one? Yeah, that was fun. Then it was time to leave Toy Story Land and head over to Star Wars Galaxy Edge. There was no rides in here that Poppy could go on, but we just wanted to be able to check it out and see what it looked like. So I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, so this just visually looked cool to me, but I didn't really know what I was looking at. So I hope you enjoy the visuals that we took. <laughs> I bet this looks cool at night. Yeah, it probably does. Yeah. Going on a monorail. Poppy, you ready for monorail? Yeah, sounds fun. We were off to the Grand Floridian to have some dinner at Citrico. It was really, really nice. It was to celebrate my dad's birthday and we had a fantastic time. The Grand Floridian is also just such a beautiful hotel. It's worth taking the monorail just to walk around and check it out because it truly is a gorgeous, gorgeous hotel. Now let's go have some delicious dinner. Citricos is a stylish setting that plays homage to Mary Poppins. The dining room feels like you're in a London garden. Keep your eyes out for Mrs. Poppins hat, bag, and umbrella. You can also notice some light fixtures that look like her umbrella, flowers, butterflies, and even more. Just gotta keep your eyes open. As an appetizer, Jack and I shared the duck breast as well as the wild mushroom arancini. They were both delicious. Would definitely recommend them. And for Poppy, we got some cheese and grapes. It looked delicious. She was very happy with it. Is it yummy? Yes, we got cheese and cheese and grapes and goldfish. Is it so good? You serve mac and cheese every night. You think? Is that the best, Pops? Oh, is it so good? Oh, it's so yummy. Yes, you got rice and carrots. And then she eats it for the middle. Oh, it's hot? It's hot? <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick with the mac and cheese. You want a fork? <laughs> and then I got a shot of pretty much what everybody ate. We all had some similar things. So we had the guava barbecue short rib, the chicken and the filet mignon, and everybody loved everything. We did not leave anything on our plates. We ate it all. They also had a dessert menu, but we were all too full, so we didn't get anything. But it was my dad's birthday, so they did give us this nice little plate of chocolates, which were delicious. We did not have time, but if you happen to have time, I would highly recommend going over to the Enchanted Rose and grabbing a drink. It looks absolutely beautiful, and it is like just right across the hall from the restaurant. And then to end our night, we headed back over to Magic Kingdom for their fireworks. And this was our view on the monorail. It was gorgeous. And it's so pretty in Magic Kingdom when it's all lit up. And it's just, it's just, it's so cheerful. We were here in the beginning of September, so they were just starting to put up all the Halloween decorations, which was fun to see. 
Now time for the fireworks. Can you Can you tell mama? Where are they at? At first I was a little sad that we weren't closer to the castle, but then I realized that they were lighting up the storefronts on Main Street, which was really, really cool, and it changed throughout the performance. So this fireworks show is about 16 minutes long. Honestly, it's so spectacular that it feels a little bit longer than that. Hard to see, but there goes Tinkerbell. Since we haven't been to Magic Kingdom at night on this trip, we decided to make our way towards the castle to check it out. And then once we got over there, we decided we had to do one more ride, which is my sister's favorite ride at Disney. Plane, the greatest ride in all of Disney yeah. that is and literally just like, first of all, first of all, you're hot. You need a break. You go on the runway. People were, I, well, like, what is it now? Tomorrowland Transit Authority? Yes. But really, it's just see the whole park in, in a short period of time and have the time of your life. I mean, there's really nothing else to say. It's just fun. And this is your favorite ride? Yes. There's no bumps. In there's all no, of Disney. There's no bumps. There's no, it's, it's not about thrills. It's just, it's just about relaxing, nice. People watching, park viewing, a little breeze. It's just what what could what could be bad? You get to go through, you get to see Space Mountain. You're not on it, but you see them. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's go see it, babe. There's a line. We're going up. You ready? Ready. Find your car. Here we go. You ready, Bobby? Bobby looks like I don't get it. I don't get it. Hey, babe, I don't get it. This is the TTA Blue Line. I love a good circuit, and these are two of the best tracks of the cosmos for a bit of light speed. Good job. Okay, Maeve. We finished the people mover. 
Is it as good as you remember? Oh, it, I mean, I don't even even like, remember it. It's always good. How many more? Been bad. I know it's our last day, but it's not your last day. How many more times are you going to go on it? Uh, like at least three. At least three more times. <laughs> it is a good one. Thanks so much for coming on our Disney trip with us. Till next time, get out and live a little. Bye, guys. Thank you.